So the moment, the moment that Chris and I knew that we've all been doing something pretty irrational for a very long time, the moment we knew that if we did something different, we would have much better outcomes. So what Chris did is he took all of our 10,000 dealers inventory as if it were just one big dealership, like an enterprise page that you might have that aggregates all of your dealerships. But we did it for the entire V Auto base. And as you'll see in a moment, we broke everyone's inventory collectively up into those four precious metal categories, platinum, gold, silver, and bronze. And we put some data relevant to each one of those buckets. The first significant data point that I'll mention here in a moment is the way you're pricing them. What is the average price to market we wanted to know for all of your platinum cars? What was the price to market for the gold, silver, and bronze cars? So if you'd put that up, sure, please. This was the moment. Look at this picture and tell me what is wrong. Do you see what we saw? This is what your inventory will look like when viewed through the profit time lens. Yes, the irrationality that you see here is that your platinum cars, the ones that time is on your side, the ones that you can afford to be patient and tip that optimum balance a little bit more towards gross than turn, are the ones that you're blowing out most aggressively. And on the other side of that equation, the platinum cars, the black banana cars, we are most proud of. The cars that need to go now, we're most proud of. Now you tell me if anybody believes that that is a rational way to go to market, knowing that our job is to find the optimal balance between turn and gross. We're blowing out the platinum cars and we're proud of the platinum, gold, or excuse me, bronze cars. If we can just reverse that, and you're gonna hear from some dealers who have now begun to do that, if that's not a game changer, if that doesn't bring more profit into our used car departments, if that is not the antidote to the margin compression problem, I couldn't imagine what is. Further, look at the distribution of the various precious metal vehicle buckets. 9% of our inventories, your inventory, roughly, you can be sure of this, roughly 9% of your cars today are platinum cars. 22, 23, gold, silver, and yes, 46% of your inventory. This is not what profit time does to your inventory. This is profit time showing you the reality of your current inventory. And I want to tell you what is really remarkable is that when we take any single one of your inventories and put it into this construct, yours looks like this. Chris and I could not find one dealership that had a properly declining price to market across the buckets. Every one was inverted. Yours is inverted. And similarly, the distribution of your current inventory, the green, yellow, brown, black bananas, will look just like this. So profit time isn't doing this. Profit time is revealing this. And that was the moment we knew that if we could bring this problem to your attention and we could give you a solution that would allow you to properly assess the profit potential of a vehicle before you purchase it, and then every day thereafter once you own it. You can begin to make the better decisions about how to deal, how to manage with that vehicle for greatest profitability, not using the old crude technology of calendar time, but we can begin to do it with profit time.